the prototype of the plane from 5,000 feet from the helicopter and try to see how stable it is and uh, try to land it in one piece. Let's go! Hello everyone, my name is Ivan and for those who never been to my YouTube channel, for the last four years I've been trying to build the fastest ready control airplane that would be able to fly Mach 0.9 or 650 miles per hour and my own turbojet engine for it. Uh, that airplane would be able to fly very very fast, but the problem is it's very hard to fly slow. The stall speed of that plane is 70 miles per hour and to be able to fly stably you gotta go 80 or 90 miles per hour. So basically you gotta go almost 100 miles per hour to even take off. That airplane is obviously gonna be very very hard to control and the chances of losing the plane are very very high. This is why I decided to build prototypes which were the same weight and same scale but just didn't have jet engine in it. So if planes were to crash, that would not be as expensive as crashing a jet plane. So first time I tested the same weight, same scale airplane with electric directed fan by building a catapult using eight garage springs. But catapult was built from wood and it's basically broke itself. Second time I tested the plane by mounting it on top of the car and someone was driving 95 miles per hour and the uh, plane took off, flown 150 feet and crashed. And this is when I realized I need to test that airplane by dropping it from the air. And I was able to find the person with R44 helicopter. And uh, I dropped that plane in September, but basically I was flying that plane by FPV and I lost signal and that plane just crashed and uh, I never found it. So then I started looking for uh, people who would be able to help me test it again and I found Russ. So this test is possible because of him. Uh, also, he has an Instagram page. You should go ahead and check it out. He posts very cool stuff. He, he flies to very cool places. And uh, I built a new airplane. This time I built a glider. Previous test was a, uh, using electric ducted fan. But then I realized as long as airplane is the same weight and same scale, it doesn't really matter if it has uh, any kind of engine. Because I just want to check stability and how well I can control that plane. So I just built a glider, I printed it from plastic and uh, first time we dropped it on December 30th. Uh, it went well, except uh, when I deployed the parachute, uh, rope broke. So rope couldn't withstand the force of parachute being deployed. And uh, after plane lost parachute, since parachute takes about 6% of mass of the plane and it's located in a very, very nose, after losing the parachute, uh, center of gravity shifted back and airplane uh, entered unrecoverable deep stall and crashed. So we went back to Idaho and built another airplane in five days and tested it exactly one week later. Okay, enough said. Now just enjoy the footage from the tests. And right before we about to drop the plane, I wanted to ask you guys for help. I've been working on that project for the last four years. And that project was possible because of people and companies donating their time, resources and money to help me build this airplane. Right now I'm freshman at college at Caltech. 
on a full ride scholarship. My scholarship covers everything, including food, health insurance, and even flight tickets. I'm really, really broke. So if you can help me fund components for my airplane, go ahead and follow the link in the description and help me build the fastest ready control airplane. And after looking for the plane for almost half an hour from the air, we finally found it. Oh no! Oh. Well! Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so those two tests were pretty successful and next step is to make a final plane with turbojet engine from carbon fiber and see how it flies. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook to see more recent progress and see you in the next video, guys.